Okay, let's see if this new T-Mobile home internet any good for truckers, RV people, or RVers. So up to this point, I've been using my device for tethering the internet. I used Verizon, I used T-Mobile. They both suck and they don't give you enough gigabytes. So once you're over, you get stuck with GSM network or <laughs> whatever that is. They say it's 3G, but it's so slow. It's probably uh, GPRS for those who remember those days or even WAP for those who remember really back in the days. Anyway, so they claim that this device gets you know, upwards of 100 megabits per second, down and up. Let's see, boom. So this is what it looks like. So here's the device, nice and compact. The size of a, the size of a Clorox wipes box. And weighs about a pound, not that heavy definitely can bring it with you if you're going somewhere on an airplane or um, let's just say you're you know moving constantly on the road you want to take your internet with you to hotels yeah this definitely looks like a solution that you could use I actually used uh, something similar to this back in a, I believe like 10 years ago there was this clear service based on Sprint Network, it was a WiMAX uh, internet, WiMAX based, and it was pretty decent for the time. So now what I'm gonna do is I wanna, since I'm a trucker, I'm gonna try to find the best spot for it. So truckers that have some storage on top of the cabin, you know, I think this could be like a ideal solution for having a clear view of what's going on, like whether you're getting the service or not getting, so you could instantly get the idea of what's going on with your router. Hello? Immediate attention? Business representative to assist you. My Google account. Eight six six nine eight four Holy five nine to fix Very the important phone Please call. Press one now. Yeah, let's do that. And now they're gonna make me wait. I thought this was very important. What happened? Okay, bye. Anyway, back to the router. We got that. We got the charging device that's about it nothing else okay i'm gonna keep this box since they are running this promotion 15 days test drive that's what they call it if you don't like it within the 15 days period you can return it and get your money back and they even they didn't even seal the whole thing so i'm pretty sure this has been probably refurbished or it could be refurbished probably it's making it easy so yeah something to note the sticker right here says that if you are going to return this device there will be a restocking fee i don't know what that fee is and the guy told me that um, there is no equipment fee there is no fees of any sort but uh, that's what the sticker says, so I don't know. Well, obviously if it's any good, I'm not planning on returning this because I have been waiting for something like this for a very long time. Three years ago, I didn't have any um, fast internet option in my office. So I had to use a Verizon dial-up internet. I'm not joking, it wasn't dial-up, it was uh, DSL. So DSL, the fastest speed was maybe 10 megabits. I don't remember exactly, but yeah, something in that nature. And they charged an arm and a leg. I used to pay like $170 for that shit. 
and this is 50 bucks if they had this before forget about it let's uh let's hook it up so my power outlet is right over here and so that's why i'm either going to have it here or up there there's a passage over there so let's try the first spot okay so there's two USB-C ports and it comes with a USB-C cable so the guy told me that this is a second version which is more updated the first one was a little bit more uh, cylindrical and it looks like it looked like it was made of metal maybe it was just paint but it's gray this one's black and it's what's the shape Parallel, parallelepiped, parallelepiped. Basically, it's you know, squarish on top and rectangular on the sides. <laughs> okay, so I'm assuming that's where you put the power cable. Let's see, nothing happens. Yeah. Got a T-Mobile logo light up. Power ring up probably gonna take a while now it says download the T-Mobile internet mobile app yeah. T-Mobile internet set up a device set up a device okay <laughs> quick question first scale of 1 to 7 why 7 why not 10 how confident are you that you would be able to complete a to-do yourself project if instructions and materials are provided very confident I'm a confident man I'm a very confident man next skip the video see the video yeah that's the old one they made it look like a like an Apple Pro um, Mac Pro, you know the trash can design, not near microwaves, too bad, at least it's not, uh, it's not right here, okay, put it right there, put it right there, okay, share your location, okay, boom, oh, it's showing me where to put it, where to place it, how about here? How about in the truck? Good? They don't have it. <laughs> Allow while using the app. Confirm location. Sorry, that didn't work. Huh? The address may not be in our database yet. Okay, enter manually. Great news, we found your signal. Found the spot. Okay, let's connect your gateway. Okay, scan the code. Okay, boom. I gotta scan the code. And connect to power. It is connected. Now wait for gateway to start. Gateway. Is that what you're calling it? Wait at least two minutes if your gateway to completely start up. For your gateway to completely start up. Time's up. Okay, so it makes you wait two minutes because sometimes it may take a little bit longer so so people people don't get frustrated so we're gonna wait yeah download the t-mobile app okay next firmware upgrade in progress Are you kidding me look at the lcd screen on your gateway is an upgrade in progress note you may need to tap a button to wake it up download the internet mobile app Learn more. Gateway with your smartphone is easy. Done. No, it's not asking me about that. Wi-Fi permission. Next. Go to Wi-Fi settings on your phone. Connect to T-Mobile Wi-Fi. Return to the app. Didn't it say Wi-Fi? This is Bluetooth. T-Mobile, I told ya. Okay, so 
right here I was supposed to type in the password which is written on the back of the device but as you can see I tried to go back to the app and to check if the app is going to give me the password so when I went back to the app the app automatically assumed that I typed in the password already and since I was already connected to the internet um, you can see that I was stumbling upon an error message that I couldn't find the solution for for about five to ten minutes so I'm gonna speed up the whole process here so basically all you gotta do is go to the Wi-Fi settings connect to your T-Mobile uh, router type in the password which is provided on the back of the device it's a phrase which is separated by three commas it's not a traditional password it's it's made of words random words separated by dots and then after that it's going to prompt you to reset the admin password um, to rename the, the device name and you can do that or you can skip that once you type that in um, you are good to go let's do it oh yeah okay I guess we are keeping it okay so um basically it's been two days since I've been using my new internet this is the third time I'm recording because my stupid SD card stopped working so Vivitar you guys you guys better check your quality control anyway this thing I'm really happy with I'm seriously impressed by I velcroed it I decided to put it here not there because I was getting worst signal it was on and off but every time I just needed to go up there move it try something and it was just nightmare this way it's all open uh, I have visual access and you know there is all this open area where signal can get through and over there it's just trapped so you're better off uh, leaving it somewhere over here where basically you have access to open uh, area for the radio to go through for the signal signal is radio radio waves anyway so yesterday when I was doing a test I was in an urban um, area so I thought maybe once I move to a more rural neighborhood like this I'm in uh, a pilot in pilot in London Ohio not too far from Columbus let's see what kind of speeds are we gonna be getting so usually you should run like three tests to get a uh, an average but right off the bat look at that are we gonna are we gonna see 700 come on seven come on okay 680 is the average short of a 700 megabits down I don't think you need more than that trust me <laughs> prior to this I was happy with one down when I was running it uh, with a public Wi-Fi from pilot or loves maybe Amazon I was getting two three megabits down now I'm getting can't really do the math but 400 times the the speed and seriously impressed happy I can for the first time I can say that T-Mobile seriously has the best 5g network right now and if you are a trucker if you have an RV if you are constantly on the go and you need something reliable fast and just maybe your house doesn't get decent speeds like uh, for example you don't have an optic network uh, wired to your neighborhood so yeah this is probably the best option short of a Starlink talking to you Elon $50 every month you can't go wrong. Peace out. I'll see you guys in the next one.